potential non-humans watching, Gita Rose here. Thank you for tuning in. This week's video, again, I feel like I'm going to be talking about something that I've talked about before, but with my experience with Bella and this very specific hybrid lineage, it's part of what we do is to talk about the same thing in many different ways. And it's also an opportunity for me to share something that I'm really excited about that I did. So I've been <clears throat> talking in the last few weeks and it's been my lesson in the last few weeks about allowing, taking the stillness in action, integrating, being, to allow our allowance to come to us. Then also, action is required. And it's this very delicate balance, this very personal dance that is required of us as we begin to even more and more and more embody and be our joy. And only the individual can know for themselves. Am I really wanting to take a nap because this truly is my highest excitement and my joy? Or am I wanting to take the nap because it's easier than the other idea that I have that maybe brings up other beliefs, right? It's so personal and in ways it's so subtle that we can only begin to really know the difference by doing either thing, like it doesn't matter. Like you'll know if you're really honest with yourself, if you took the nap and you're like, oh, well, that didn't really leave me feeling great. I feel like I'm kind of denying things, suppressing things. Now you know, maybe you should have done the other thing. No should, but you know what I mean. Don't want to should on you, I'll never should on you, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So I'm talking about taking action. And in a different way, not so much these spontaneous ideas, but ideas that keep rolling, right? For me, again, little short story time this week, I'd been getting the idea from my higher self, from my inner knowing, that it was time for me to scale back on the restaurant job. That I could go down to two days a week, not have to put in my full two weeks, not leave the restaurant high and dry, be able to have a transition for myself. And this had been rolling in my head for a few weeks, quite a few weeks. And I realized after really last week's video, after receiving all of these beautiful reflections from all of you, and being really authentic and vulnerable that I was ready. And that really, it was quite simple. <laughs> I can go down to two days a week, I can still pick up shifts. There's like this, this middle road that a lot of times we forget about. We future trip so much. We worry and, and see the, the, the most negative potential reality and we're already there. <laughs> and we have this amazing ability to forget that there's a middle road and all of these different potentials that any given scenario could go. So I aligned with a very psychic version of my coworker who makes the schedule. She was like, I knew this was coming. I knew it. And even then, because I was coming into more of my own vibration, I saw a different version of her. And we had this beautiful conversation about doing little things, the little things that the mind, the higher self, the higher mind is giving us to do. And she was so appreciative and I was so appreciative and knew that we could navigate this transition as smoothly as possible. And so I'm just filled with appreciation and excitement and I really learned that there is this very delicate balance 
And it's different. It's very, very subtly different than having these like spontaneous kind of like big ideas. When I talked about going to Sedona and I decided to not go to Sedona, that was really what inspired this softer, stiller type of action in me. But this trip, even though it was planned for a little bit, it had this kind of like, yeah, like spontaneous kind of feeling to it. Synchronicity align, like spontaneity, go. And then there's these different ideas, these different inspirations that keep rolling in our ticker. The higher mind is like, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. And for whatever reason, we don't do it because of our own personal reasons, our beliefs, our fears, our conditioning. And I really do think that there comes a time, especially in those of us that are integrated, healed enough, where there's only so much shadow work, so much processing that needs to be done. What needs to be done in that now is to then do it, to take the action, to acknowledge to your higher self, I am listening. You are being relentless in this idea and I am listening. I choose to trust, I, to, I choose to jump. And maybe it's quitting a job. Maybe it's a, what seems like a really big idea or maybe it's something seemingly small. Calling a friend that you haven't talked to in a while but you don't do it because there's that type of guilt or not like mailing a bill, right? Like I know that I would do this a lot and I still do this sometimes. You have something that like you wanna drop off at the post office and like you don't do it for whatever reason. And you almost get, we almost get like addicted to not doing it. Again, something seemingly simple and then something seemingly very big has the same energy attached to it. And from my experience and from what I've seen through Bella, the way that we overcome this is to just do it. I sound like a Nike commercial, but like, <laughs> so what's up? So I just wanna be a reflection for you all that are maybe having this experience of having these continuous thoughts, these continuous inspirations, and for whatever reason, you're not doing it. To be a reflection for you that when you do it, magic happens. You align with different versions. You feel excited. You feel where you're supposed to be. And yeah, maybe there is some type of challenge. There is some type of obstacle. But when we know that we're acting in our passion, encountering those obstacles and those challenges are really a beautiful lesson. And it is like a muscle that we build. And truly the more we can have these positive, beautiful, integrative responses to an obstacle. But more so in my reality, I've, I've been met with nothing but beauty. Because when we're authentic, going back to last week's video, when we're authentic, like that's what we receive. So let's take the now moment and find whatever little thing, whatever big thing, whatever the definition is that you've been receiving, that that actor aspect of you has been sending the character and you're not doing. I think we all have them. So take a minute, find one for you, and we can all commit together, everyone watching this video, to just do it and see what happens. And honor yourself too and choose to know that you can trust. Choose to know that you will know the difference between is it truly your joy to be in stillness or are you in non-action because of some type of fear? Choose to know that you will know the difference. 
And I encourage you to do it. Whatever it is. Thank you so much to my new subscribers this week and to all of you who continue to support and encourage my journey thus far. I sincerely appreciate it. I wish you all a wonderful week. You can like, like, and subscribe if you'd like, or ring the bell, ding dong, to get notifications on my new videos. Our minds may be different, our bodies may be different, but it is through our hearts that we know our spirits are one. Hello! Ha! Huh.